the edge. Todd, he does some certain Todd, things. Todd, 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 Todd. Let's go. One of the two is your number one. Who does Houston take? I'm going to go with Johnny Manziel, and I'm going to say Johnny Manziel for this reason. When you talk to people in the league, I get a consensus on Manziel that I don't get with Bortles or Bridgewater. Uh, a consensus that Manziel at worst is going five. He's going in the top five somewhere. And this Johnny Manziel is a magician on the field. If he eat, if eats, sleeps, and drinks football 365 days a year, uh, to me, he can be a very good to great player in the NFL. And today's NFL kind of suits his uh, skill set very effectively and very well. All right. <laughs> Lamar Jackson didn't make your first mock draft, Mel. If he doesn't get it in, get it done as a quarterback, moves to wide receiver. But he's got to be all in on the wide receiver transition. If he's not, then that may alter how you feel about taking him in the I, second I've round. I've never spent any time. All, all of us. Guilty, guilty. Amen. Made a lot of fun about the Seattle Seahawks. Sherman, the former wide receiver turned corner, just an average fifth round pick. Sherman, the former wide receiver turned corner, just an average fifth round pick in my opinion. Sherman, the former wide receiver turned corner, just an average fifth round pick in my opinion. Uh, Mel to the quarterbacks now, Blaine Gabbert, number eight. Cam Newton at number 10. First of all, Blaine Gabbert did work out in terms of that showing athleticism and that size, which is very imposing, mobility, speed, quickness, and the interview process where you show that football acumen, that character, that face of the organization that you want your quarterback to be moving forward. So Blaine Gabbert, while he didn't throw, moved up and I think firmly established himself right now as the top quarterback in this draft. Cam Newton needs to make amends during his pro day, but certainly for Blaine Gabbert, I think you could make an argument. He's in the mix for the number one pick over. Overall. Mel, I'm not sure Mitch Trubisky could, could throw that game against uh, Alabama. I'm not sure Deshaun Kaiser could as well. Feels like a tough judgment on Deshaun Watson. Why isn't he ahead of those guys? Well, I think the preciseness and the accuracy throwing the football, and we don't know how tall he is. Is he 6'2", legit? Is he 6'1", and change? We'll see at the combine. You don't have measurables, accurate measurables, until the combine for underclassmen. But right now, I have a second-round grade on Deshaun Watson. I mean, here's a guy that criticizes everybody, whoever they take. He's got the answers to uh, who you should take and who you shouldn't take. We don't have to take anybody that Mel Kuyper says we have to take. Mel Kuyper has no more credentials to do what he's doing than my neighbor, and my neighbor's a postman, and he doesn't even have season tickets to the NFL.